Meghan Markle has rejuvenated the spirit of Wallace Simpson, the American divorcee who rocked the monarchy, a royal biographer has sensationally claimed. Anna Pasternak, a royal biographer, extraordinarily claimed members of the royal court want to remove the Duchess of Sussex as they regard her as a so-called threat to the throne. In an outlandish remark, the royal writer alleged Meghan is facing a plot from Buckingham Palace's so-called men in great who would see her downfall. The writer, who has written a book about Wallace Simpson, made comparisons between Meghan and the American divorcee who sent shockwaves through the monarchy when she married King Edward VII. Miss Pasternak said pregnant Meghan has rejuvenated the spirit of Wallace Simpson, the woman whose relationship with King Edward VIII caused a constitutional crisis and led to his abdication, changing the course of the royal family forever. She told S Magazine, Meghan is like a granite that's been thrown into this archaic system and there are explosions already going on which I think will continue. In a sense Meghan has rejuvenated the spirit of Wallace and I hope people take the view of her as a kind, witty, loyal and dignified person who unfairly became the most vilified woman in the world. Miss Pasternak added, I worry for Meghan and Harry. He's the people's prince as Edward was the people's king. I fear if Meghan and Harry's star rises too high that will be perceived as the courtier's princess Diana called men in great as a threat to the heir. She cannot set the agenda, she has to toe the line and support the monarch and heir. I don't think she realizes that. Meghan has also been called out for her lavish lifestyle choices and appearing to mix celebrity lifestyle with that of a royal. However, her close friends and confidants have rushed to defend her, with Hollywood superstar George Clooney sticking up for the Duchess. Other commentators have risen up in defense of Meghan, with expert Omid Scobie saying, We had Meghan, who very publicly had this baby shower at a hotel, friends coming in and out, the world's press there to see. There was a huge moment, first time mum, it's only going to happen once. What's the difference between that and then the world's press descending on the hospital after the baby is born to take glamorous photos of the made-up new mum with her baby? How much taxpayers' money goes into funding security for something like that? You need security to move around and whether Meghan had a big or a small baby shower, she would have gone out to the US with as many protection officers as she did. Which was very little. ITV royal commentator Chris Ship also highlighted similarities between security costs Meghan incurred during her five-day stay in New York and the expenses in-laws William and Kate face when on holiday with their three children George, Charlotte, and Louis. Mr. Ship said, What's the difference between what Meghan did in New York and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William, and Kate, going skiing with their children and no doubt took some police protection with them to whichever mountain range they went to? The Cambridges reportedly went away on a luxury skiing holiday during the school half-term holidays with their three children George, five, Charlotte, three and Louis, aged just nine months. And three years ago William and Kate took their two eldest to the glamorous Corchival in the Trois-Vallées in France, where they shared some snow-filled snaps together.